Hey everybody! Welcome to another edition of Art Club Quarantine Edition. It is our fifth episode, which is crazy that I've been in my house this long. Um, today's word of the day is caduceus. So in honor of our medical professionals on the front lines, it's the medical insignia. So that's our word. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, today, we are going to take a look through my current sketchbook. And as you can see, I've made a calendar because I don't own a calendar. And I've slowly been ticking off the days I've been at home. So we're at 10, 20, 29 days today I've been at home. I don't like that very much, but you know what? If it keeps people healthy, then I guess I'll deal with it. <laughs> um, so to keep myself busy, what I've been doing is drawing in my sketchbook, but I was trying to figure out like something fun that I could do. So like I, I usually do Inktober in October um, and there is kind of this Inktober thing going where they give you like a prompt a week, but I need more than that right now. To keep myself busy so I decided I was going to start drawing the different um, challenges that I've been seeing going around on Facebook because there's a whole bunch and most of them are really dumb <laughs> so uh, I decided to start with one that I actually really liked and that would be my most influential albums so I'll lift it up a little bit uh, Turns out it was actually 20. I thought it was 10. I don't know. Everybody was doing something different. So I ended up doing 12 because that's how many fit on this page. So I think I spent probably around an hour maybe on each of these little squares. I mean, some of them are a little simpler than others. So I got done quicker, like Fiona Apple and Tori Amos. Those didn't take quite as long, but the other ones took a while. So, uh, yeah, so that was my first one. Then the one I just finished the other day was everyone sharing their senior picture in support of this year's seniors, which I think is really silly because how is sharing your senior picture supposed to be supportive? Uh, I mean, you're kind of like, ooh, look, I got to graduate and you didn't. No, no. I don't know. I think it's rude, personally. So uh, I painted this nice dumpster fire um, to show for it. and. Uh, I don't know. One of my senior photos was actually like super sad and mopey because it's me standing in a downpour looking real sad <laughs> with some dumpsters. Yeah, I have that theme throughout my life. It's kind of a thing. So, um, yeah, this is my next door neighbor's window. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've been documenting all the random things that are going on in that window because that's what I look at every day while I'm working. Um, here's my illustration kids while we're on Zoom. I miss them so much. They're really special. But today, what we're going to work on is another Facebook challenge. And I haven't seen this one like a ton. It hasn't been widely circulated among my friend group, but I did see it for a couple days. People were doing it and it was uh, share your post first photo together and it's all these couples being cute sharing their photos and so I was like what is my first photo with my husband and he's probably going to hate me for this because uh, it we look completely deranged <laughs> so I started drawing it because I'm going to paint it but yes here is us on our first date if you will I don't know if you call sticking googly eyes all over your face is a date, then it's a date. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's here's our photo. It's very special. Um, and this is our first photo together. It was about 2006, so 14 years ago. It's pretty wild. Um, right, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to paint this with gouache. I just got some gouache in the mail. I'm very excited about it. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with gouache, it's basically watercolor that is more opaque. So it, uh, it 
lays really flat and can fill in a space really well, which is something that I really like about it. Um, and I wanted to get more into it. So thankfully I'm stuck in my house, so I have plenty of time to play with it and practice. Yeah, see, I'm trying to think on the bright side, you know, be positive. Buying art supplies, that's an essential thing, right? <laughs> I bought a lot of art supplies. So, you know, let's get started. Um, I think I'll just start with the background and kind of fill that in. One thing that's actually pretty nice about gouache is that it dries really quickly for the most part. Um, but I also haven't really been working uh, super wet, so I guess that also makes a difference. Hopefully I don't run out of any of this while I'm working, so it take up too much time. Okay, I'm just going to paint this background. Some nice mud. Yeah, I ordered a whole bunch of gouache and then I got it and then I realized that there are some very important colors that I'm missing. Like, I didn't have a, a nice dark blue. I didn't have a nice, like, cool yellow or warm red. And that's difficult. How am I supposed to do my work without those things? I can't mix the right colors. So I've had to kind of intersperse different uh, watercolors as a replacement in there. And, uh... You know, just deal with it, I guess. It still works, it's fine. Because I still love watercolor, so it's not a big deal. But also, everyone watching, you know, feel free to join the chat. If you got questions about what I'm doing or anything, let me know. And if you're wondering why we look so completely deranged or anything, <laughs> Uh, I have no answer to that. We were just so stupidly in love. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, there's a good start. Yeah, I think with the limited palette that I have in gouache, I'm going to have to do a lot of mixing. So I guess that's actually pretty valuable for you all to see, is that uh, skin tone. I don't have skin tone colored paint, so, you know, gotta make it. And I think that's one of my favorite things about painting, is just like making the colors, or layering the colors actually. That's really enjoyable for me. I think that's why I really like watercolor. It's just working in layers. It's funny that I told you all that gouache lays down really flat colors and then here I am with really transparent colors. Ah, uh, it's because I'm working too wet. It's how I roll. I always start like this when I work with paintings. And then I just build it up more and more. It doesn't really help that the gouache that I have in my palette is kind of dry. It dries so quickly. I like it a lot more when it's wet, but I don't want to waste it, you know? You know? I just bought it. There we go. That's a little more opaque. Yeah, I think the hardest thing for me so far has been uh, drawing my mouth. I got like this weird smile going on. It's very eh, like, eh, eh, I can't even do it anymore. I don't know. I was just so excited about all these googly eyes on my face that I was able to distort my face pretty severely. <laughs> 
All right, let's mix up some skin tones. I'm also like blushing so much in this picture. I was just so excited to be hanging out with Maddie. You know how it goes. Love. True love. Oh boy, that red got real excited. Well, that's about my blush. <laughs> it's a little excessive. Let's get some of this good stuff in there. Here we go. A little bit of blue. That's too much blue. Okay, that's okay. We'll just leave it off to the side. Never mind. Never mind. Just throw it all together. We'll, we'll just play around for a bit. Thank you. Is it Goose? Goose? <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Uh, need some more white. I'm probably going to run out of white by the end of this. Yeah, I'm also painting in a moleskin, and no, it does stand up to a lot of abuse, but it also uh, doesn't really like super wet applications of value, so it's kind of challenging, but that's okay. I learned a really fun thing. You can iron your artwork if need be. I mean, I knew that. I was just always afraid to do it with my, like, big fancy paintings, but it's in my sketchbook. It's not as big of a deal. Uh, so, yeah, I ironed my senior photo painting in here. All I really did, make sure you turn the steam off. Very important, because the steam is what's going to get you. Um, so you turn the steam off. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I just look so deranged. Okay. Um, and then use like a clean towel to kind of brace or protect your drawing from excess heat, if you will. Sorry, it's just so hard to paint and talk at the same time. You know how it is, don't you? Maybe you don't. I don't know. You never know. Get a little more yellow. I'm not sure how much I want to stick with being perfectly realistic. I always change my mind when I'm like in the middle of things. So we'll see where this goes. So for the most part, uh, my pencil lines kind of stay here. Ooh, I don't know what's going on there, but I don't like it. Um, yeah, so you'll still see my pencil lines, which I usually like in my watercolor drawings to kind of see those still. I think it adds a little character. I want to kind of try and resist the urge to use too much water right now and just kind of work with the paint that I have. That's something that's different between 
squash and watercolor with that. I need to learn. I need to get used to it. I don't often paint with gouache, except for like the finishing details that you would see. So yeah, this is kind of a new thing for me. Also, I have no idea how much I'm going to get done in an hour with this. I think my senior photo painting took me about five hours or so. Maybe. I also lose complete track of time when I'm painting, so that could be completely wrong. This might be a nightmare. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it right now. Hopefully it gets better. <laughs> like the paint behaves just slightly different than watercolor does, so I'm working slightly different than I normally would. But I guess we'll find out later. We'll just let myself look real freaky for right now. We'll move on to Maddie. Mix up some more. His skin's a bit more yellow than mine. This is going to look freaky for a while, so bear with me. gonna make me get make me give him a haircut probably tonight I'm nervous last time I gave him a haircut he had a pretty sweet bowl cut uh, and by sweet I mean not I mean it was terrible <laughs> and I was embarrassed that I did it because <laughs> I was like how hard is cutting hair you just you know hold it in your fingers and you snip that's definitely a lie. Uh, it's difficult. I guess I could just shave his head. He looked terrifying with a shaved head, I think. So maybe we won't do that.
Well, I think the challenge in this artwork is how am I going to make this look decent? <laughs> what am I going to do to pull this through and be good? Because right now I'm not feeling so great about it. I am sure that at some point I will feel good about it, but as of right now, it's a hot mess. But maybe it's just, you know, a metaphor for life in these crazy, crazy times. Is that what it is? Please tell me that's what it is. My skin looks disgusting. I don't like it. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna fix this? Questions. Eternal questions. I don't know if I want to keep using this brush. Maybe that's something that will make me feel better. Not much different, but maybe a change in brush will make me feel better. <laughs> okay, um, what can I do to make me feel better about my skin? I don't know if that was a good choice. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's probably a bad choice. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna just look really sickly, I think. It'll be fine. This is actually pretty embarrassing, to be honest. What am I doing? I know, I'll paint my eyes, cause then I won't look like such a monster. Oh my god, my cat just meowed in like the highest noise. That was really special. I don't know if y'all heard that. It was so high pitched. Maybe just doing this as a live stream was like not the best idea because it takes me so long to get to a point where my paintings actually like look like anything. <laughs> Could have started this a while ago and then come on. So then you have something more to look at. <sighs> that brush is too big. Eyes are always freaky uh, until you get the pupils painted in. I just realized I'm like dipping my head over the top of this. That's my problem. I need to be really close to my art. Because I'm blind as a bat. And, you know, that makes it really difficult to paint stuff 
Oh, you can't see it. Okay, Matt's eyes are like a grayish, bluish color. They look like the moon. Oh, my poor baby cat. He's just so sad. <laughs> This whole uh, live stream will just be me meowing, I guess. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's when he like turns a meow into a a yawn. Makes like a weird gurgly noise. Now we just look like nightmare fuel. Cool. I swear I'm gonna make this better. <laughs> Lapis, I swear. Meow meow. going to make them better. Just watch. The second you added that pupil, and it's like immediately better. I don't know why I'm adding in black right now. I just really need to. I just I feel it. That's normally something I would do dead last, but it just needed some definition. It's bothering me. It's still bothering me, but whatever. Just deal with it. I'm working all out of order because I'm trying to make this look like people for you. But they're like way too intense stairs. It's freaky. <laughs> Our pupils are too big because we're so excited. But also because there is a flash on the camera. That would probably also be the reason. Mm. Hey, you kind of look like a person. A little bit. Okay. Just gonna say right now, this is not exemplary work, but 
it will be eventually just not right now I think a lot of the reasoning is that I would normally be waiting for stuff to dry a lot more and I'm not Maybe in my next live stream, I'll bring a heat gun <laughs> and I can just blast my paintings when I need them to dry faster. That's a solid reason and solution.
really want to build up these washes, but it's so wet. Now Matt's got some freaky background on his face. Boy, this is a hot mess. And I got 24 minutes to make it better. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. I think what's freaky about Matt's mouth in this picture is that it's all gums. Looks like he doesn't have any teeth. Freaky. <laughs> really flattering. I guess it could have made it look like teeth. But then, as he would say, I'm changing reality. <laughs> That's what he said when I photoshopped our wedding pictures so that everybody was looking at the camera. <laughs> so why would you do that? You're changing reality. My eye doesn't look like deranged enough. out the way I was hoping. Y'all are just gonna have to come back next week and then I'll be like, look, I finished it without the pressure of the world watching me. Now it's better. Gross, gross, gross. I don't like it. Oh my god. What am I doing? What am I doing? What is this? Okay, viewers, right now you are witnessing what artist life is normally like. <laughs> Just a lot of self-hatred and crabbiness until it starts going right. And then you get like abnormally excited and freak out. We're basically all like kind of bipolar, I think. I guess I shouldn't speak for everyone, but all the artists I know. We're just always battling with self-doubt. I feel like most people are in general though, you know. Such is life. Gosh, 
How embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Maybe if I give us some hair, it'll be better. <laughs> oh god, his mouth is terrifying. I don't like it. <laughs> You know, I think that's something that when I'm feeling not good about a portrait, if I paint eyebrows, then it's better. So let's see if it'll get better with eyebrows. Maybe it will later. We'll find out. New Facebook quiz. Do eyebrows make things better? Put eyebrows on things to find out. I've been watching a lot of meme videos on, on YouTube because that's all my husband watches now. And, uh, I think I saw a dog with eyebrows on it. Pretty sure they were drawn on. I mean, if it was natural, I'd be really impressed. But, uh, yeah, I think it made things a lot better. The dog looked so inquisitive. Do you ever feel like your life is a hot mess? That's what, oh my god, why? Maybe I'll just turn this into a surrealist painting. Just let everything bleed together until it's just a nightmare. That's okay, right? Now it's got blonder hair than me. This was when I dyed my hair black. It was weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I had to put mascara on my eyebrows to make them match. Oh, that's still so wet. Okay. Maddie might not get eyebrows yet. They're not ready. Not ready. Not even close to ready. Okay, maybe this side can get some eyebrows. Yeah. Really sparse ones. <laughs> I don't think that helps at all. Oh, God. Why am I doing this? It's the mouth. It's that mouth. It's so scary. Maddie, why are you making that face? You just got like so much happening in there. I don't know if I'm making it worse.
I'm waiting for him to just like barge into the studio and be like, what are you doing? Why are you making me look like a crazy person? <laughs> and then I say, because you are a crazy person. We're all crazy people right now. This is like the saddest painting in existence. I'm so sorry to everyone watching. <laughs> you know, you just have those days sometimes. Where you're really not feeling it. Makes me think back to like, there were a few times I was like really, really sick, but I still was at work because I was like, I can't miss work. I got, I got a demo. It's really important. So I'm like trying to do a live demonstration on how to draw things, but I'm just like sweating profusely and like about to pass out. I'm like, don't worry, I could teach you about perspective. And the kids are like, uh, yeah, you need to leave you need to go home and I'm just like rambling incoherently and they're like please go home you should not be here right now and I'd be like no but I gotta teach you and they're like no you don't make any sense right now <laughs> so you know that's fun that was a, not a good year for me I was sick way too much And I just really felt like I had to be teaching. It's just not good. Stay home when you're sick. That's one thing that this year is teaching us. Stay home when you're sick. Don't go teach kids how to draw in one point perspective. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay, maybe if I paint hair? See, I just keep telling myself that the next thing will be the thing that makes it better. But will it be better? I don't know. Props to everyone who's still watching. I'm amazed that you are. Here's some hair. I can't believe I had black hair. That is weird. But you know, I guess I was just trying to be really hardcore. That's likely what it was. I had to laugh when I was looking for this picture. I saw a photo from when I was in percussion ensemble and uh, we did a this performance that was all like, I don't know, a lot of it was like inspired by stomps so we're like playing trash cans and did some like blue man group stuff and playing a lot of crazy things and doing weird stuff and so we took this like hardcore photo and it was really amusing. I don't know what I was doing in it but it was like hunched over very extremely uh, 
apparently that's hardcore. But I was the only one with a real cool studded belt, so, you know, I actually was hardcore. Minus whatever pose I was doing, because that was very awkward. wait till I get these googly eyes painted everybody then we're gonna be really rocking but I gotta wait for things to dry quite substantially before that can happen I wish I could figure out this face stuff before that maybe I'll just go over it with colored pencils later and then I can figure it out What was I thinking with this haircut? It's so bad. Did I do it myself? Maybe I wouldn't put it past me. I think I had like weird little ponytails going on. <laughs> Okay, that's getting nominally better. I probably should have painted my ear first before I did the hair. Mm -hmm. What do we have for time? Oh my god, can what can I do in six minutes to make this worthwhile? Let's find out. Let's paint some matte hair. This makes it look like he has tiny bangs. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Maybe I should give him tiny bangs when I cut his hair. <laughs> oh my god. We'd probably be okay with it. even happening with this air. probably gonna start sticking googly eyes all over each other again if we're stuck in our houses for too much longer. Oh Lapis, what do you want? Oh meow meow, why are you so sad? He 
he has the most pathetic meow. What a poor baby. Oh boy, this is rough. Well, so, you know, YouTube, this is what it's like when you're not having a good day for painting. You get some real messed up stuff. <laughs> Don't worry. Next week, I'll come back and I'll show this to you and be like, look, I made it better. Maybe. Or I threw it in the garbage. Or I painted over it. Did something. I'll do something. I swear. <laughs> oh, Natty. His face. I got the eyes right. The eyes are right. That mouth is something, and I don't like it. What can I do to fix your mouth? at it the more I laugh. It's like an old man mouth. Oh good. Good good good. I don't even know. Okay. I'm just gonna just do this. We'll just pretend that I finished this and that was awesome and you were all really really impressed with it and you'd be like please I can't wait for more and you're gonna come back next week and you're gonna be like yes this is the best. Um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. We're just gonna leave it at that. So, all right, people, keep creating, keep making art, even if it sucks, even if it's hard, because that's what art's for, you know? It doesn't have to be good. <laughs> as long as you do it, just make it, right? A good one.